previously on Splinter Cell Double Agent. So far, so good, Sam. The bomb is in place, and you're in one piece. And that's about all I could ask for. Come on back home. Emil's gonna want an audience for when he detonates it. And it had better go off. If it doesn't, he's going to be looking for someone to blame, and we're the obvious targets. What's up, Lambert? There's a little matter of a boat with a bomb. Since you caught the detonation frequency, you can use your watch to broadcast a jamming signal. Then you can go look in the surveillance room to see if Emil's got another one on site. That should be easy enough. It will be once you upload the fingerprint scanning app I'm sending you. That'll get you through the lock. Got it. Hey, Enrica. How's the detonator looking? There won't be any screw-ups. The detonator is in place and working perfectly. Unless we shut it down, there's no way to stop it, and I don't think Emil's about to transmit the stop code on its frequency. If he does, he can't blame you. Oh, he'll find a way. Trust me. explain this in Kinshasa. You're coming to Kinshasa with me, Fisher. I'll be delivering some weapons to a client there. But the real reason I'm going is that I've got to meet with our partners in this enterprise. The men who are helping us and making it all possible. You remember Masood, the man you handed the Rublev over to. He'll be there. So will Alejandro Takfir, who's bankroll on our entire operation. Having the three of us in one place is, of course, extremely dangerous. That's why security will be very tight. And that's why I'm bringing you. You're my ace in the hole, Fisher. I don't want anybody to know you're here, not with the Rebels in charge. That's why you'll stay out of sight with the weapons in the truck. Don't move until I get back. This hotel is Rebel Control. Don't leave the parking lot or you'll get shot. I should come with you. No. Emil, the meeting is about to start. This is different from Shanghai, Fisher. I don't want another bloodbath. I can't protect you from down here. Both Alejandro and Masood have men all over the top floors. Just stay here unless I say otherwise. Alejandro and Masood are both here, along with your guy, and we have no idea why the hell they're meeting up. I can't do anything to risk my cover, so you're gonna have to find out what they're up to. What's our next move? I do know that they're using a specially prepared, secured room in the hotel for the meet. It can only be accessed through the roof, but I don't know what specific security measures they've taken. How's it going, everybody? It's Snot Rag, and I am back with more Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent on the Xbox Series S. We are going to be doing the Kinshasa mission on 100% stealth. Nice and silky smooth, just the way I like it. Uh, before you go under the truck there, make sure that you have your OCP equipped, or before you get out of the truck anyway. And then we're going to OCP these lights just for a little bit of extra insurance, so that way these guys don't see us and come investigate, and then we're screwed. 
This was a very tough mission for me to do on 100% stealth, and uh, I pretty much narrowed it down to a T on uh, something that everybody can do. Uh, I will explain everything in the future, but for now, just follow along exactly with what I do in the video. Up ahead here, there's going to be two guards. Now, their patrol pattern is weird. You're going to have one guy that's going to go into the room where we have to go to, and then this guy is going to be going to the sink to wash his face. You have to do this quickly. As soon as he goes to the sink and he starts splish splashing, go quickly because he's going to stop and then he's going to come back where we originally were. See, it's that fast. All right, and now up ahead here, all we're going to do here is we're going to come over here and we're going to get into this corner. Just stay right here in this corner. Stick onto this corner and look this way. Here's why. Because the guy earlier that was washing his face, look at that. See, he's going to come trotting right back in here. He won't see you. As long as you stick to that part of the wall, you're good. All right, now quickly what we're going to do here is we're going to just trot over here. We're gonna go to this ledge here and while I'm at it guys thank you all once again for liking commenting and subscribing don't forget to check out my other parts I know I uploaded a crud ton of parts uh, in a considerable amount of order uh, because I had nothing better to do than to just upload those and uh, yeah I thought that it would uh, help me out if I were to just get those videos out but Go ahead and watch all those others, uh, all those other videos for me, please, and like, comment, and do subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Now, here, what we're gonna do here is literally, <laughs> we're just gonna hang out. And this guy does a very weird movement. So, as soon as he passes by us, you think you're gonna be okay to go. Don't let that fool you. It's gonna put you in a false sense of security. What he's gonna do is he's gonna stop there, and then he's gonna look over the edge. You see? Now, if we were to go, we would have gotten caught. Now, when he goes and turns around, that's when we can go. Now, just move slowly, and you're going to want to make sure that you jump into the window. Be careful, though, because sometimes Sam will just like to jump, and he'll hear you instead of going through the window, and it'll totally screw you up. Now, up here is actually really easy and kind of funny how we can get through this. There's two guards in here. We're going to get into this closet here. As soon as they're done talking, they're going to go break off into their own little patterns. One guy is going to be coming close towards us, and one guy is going into a bedroom where we have to go. So as soon as this guard here that we have in our camera angle goes to the desk here, that's when we can move. Now go. And make sure that we stay quiet. Okay, we're good here. And if you're at this pace to this point, he won't hear you. None of them will. Kind of why I wish they had the noise meter uh, like we did in Chaos Theory. Now what we're going to do here is this guy, as soon as he goes to the bed, that's when we're going to go move. Just give him one second. So as soon as he gets to a certain point in the bed, now go. And you can go at this speed, he shouldn't hear you. And we're good. Silky smooth, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Now we're on to the... Kind of the fun part, I guess. This part up here can be a little hit or miss. It uh, just depends on your playstyle. Now, for some reason, Sam will always like to do a, a false jump here. See what I mean? He got he had the ledge, but then he's just like, nope, and he lets go. So make sure you don't move your analog stick, because last time that happened, I, I moved it because I thought he got it, and then I fell to my device. Yeah, not fun. <laughs> All right, so up here is actually pretty fun to kind of sneak by because you got all the gunfire and everything going on all the explosions they're not going to really be able to hear you moving at this speed but once again i kind of wish that they had the sound meters so that way we would know like how much noise that we're making in order to get detected now here we're just going to stick to this wall this guy's going to come over here and reload his weapon and then he's going to go right back to what he was doing and then that's when we can sneak on by move carefully here because he's got ultrasonic hearing like a bat as well we should be good. Silky smooth. Mm. It's not red like silky smooth. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so all we're gonna do here is we're just gonna open this panel. We're gonna hack in and disable the uh, the mines and open the uh, open the door so that way we can repel down. All right, here we go. Perfect. 
Alright, there we go. Alright, now all we gotta do is jump up on this pipe here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Sam, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go right now, we gotta go right now, we gotta go right now. Go, 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 go. Okay. Well, that was uh, <laughs> that was almost bad. That just goes to show that nothing goes according to plan sometimes. All right. Well, here is pretty easy and Mission Impossible s kind of a uh, situation that we got going on here with lasers. With lasers. This game is like the Diet Coke of Splinter Cell. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. Ugh. I shouldn't be laughing too much because, uh, eh, well, ah, uh, screw it. You know what? Uh, yeah. Uh, for my family watching and for my uh, brother watching, I, I had a motorcycle accident yesterday. I, I was in the rain and I uh, fishtailed and then I went down. Uh, so I'm, I'm okay for the most part. Bike is all right. Uh, but I am very much hurt. <laughs> it hurts to laugh. Ugh. Alright, so all we're gonna do is just, uh, open this. Don't worry, guys. Uh, mom, dad, uh, big brother, little sister, I am okay. I am fine. You don't have to have a heart attack. I, and I'd rather not go into too much detail about it, because, uh, it's kind of embarrassing. But, oh well. Hey, it's a learning experience. It's a learning experience. That's the way that I look at it. I'm lucky I walked away from that, uh, you know, it, it could have been a lot worse, but it's a learning experience for me. Alright, so all we're gonna do is just, you know, wait for the lasers to, uh, kinda dissipate. And then, we're just gonna slinky on over, silky smooth. Once again, guys, I can't... I can't help but thank you guys enough for all the love and support that the channel has gotten so far. Uh, I really want to make it to 500 subscribers. I really want to make it to 1,000 subscribers. I, I can't do this alone. Guys, we have to beat the ever-living shit out of the algorithm. Please help me with that journey. I can't do it by myself. I need you guys to like. I need you guys to comment. I need you guys to subscribe. I know you guys are enjoying the content that I am bringing to the channel, and it means the world to me. It makes me want to keep going, and I want this channel to be up there. I want it to be one of the greats, so that way you guys can all be like me, silky smooth. Except if you ride a motorcycle in the rain. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, I should laugh. It hurts. <laughs> All right, and we're good here. All we're gonna do is uh, hook on, and then we're gonna rappel down. Don't rappel all the way down. Just get it to the point where the uh, microphone button illuminates. Boom. They're coming, Sam. Too late to escape the room. Hide in the ceiling. Sam, they're coming. Hurry up. And literally, all we're gonna do here at this point is just hang around. Have you swept the room for bugs? Twenty minutes ago. Okay, we're all here. What do you want, Alejandro? Where the hell is my bomb, Emil? Alejandro, be patient. You've already got the super tanker. The bomb leaves Emil's headquarters tomorrow. Emil, are you calm? Always calm. Since we're all here, I think we should share our targets. No, we agreed to keep that secret. My man will be carrying his bomb across the border into Mexico City. Los Angeles. And mine will flatten New York. So all we're going to do is just wait for these guys to leave the room 
And then once a meal kind of crosses the threshold of the door, that's when you can hook on and you can rappel down. Yeah, I'm fine after my accident. Um, as my dad always put it, I will heal. Uh, the motorcycle won't. <laughs> But the motorcycle's fine, but uh, I'm just, I'm a little banged up from that, so, but I'm okay. Uh, so we're gonna just uh, rappel down as quickly as we can. And then we're gonna make a beeline to the men's room, and then there's gonna be a vent in there that we gotta crawl through in order to get back to a meal. Uh, you have to get back to him lickety split because uh, the longer you take to get back, uh, you will lose trust. I found that out the hard way when Sam would just not go down the vent for the life of him. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you're always crouched before you try to go into the opening down here. So that way you can make your life a lot easier. Just go. See? Silky smooth. Up next is going to be very difficult to do. But it's also fun. Bishop. Emil. We've got a mole. And I think you know who it is. It's Hisham. Which one was he? One of Masoon's. You met him in Shanghai. Right. He's heading through the market towards the palace. Find him and kill him. Consider it done. Alright. So now we have our next objective is to 86 Hisham. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to climb over this fence as quickly as possible. And then we're going to wait until those two guys that are engaging the truck, the truck is going to blow up and then they're going to run to go check it out. That's when we move. Now go. Alright, now we're going to try to get this guy's attention. Let's see what happens here. Okay, it's not working. Screw it. Alright, now. You have a choice to either save these people or let them go. I am choosing to let them go because too many times I have tried to save them and I have always ended up getting caught and it has ruined my 100%. So, I can't think of any methods really to do it. I've tried all the methods that I, I've seen on YouTube and everything. I, I've tried it. I, I can't do it. So, it's better to just... Uh, just let them go, which is tragic, I know, but uh, you won't lose any trust with the NSA if you let that happen. But if you're low on trust, it is an optional objective for you to do. Uh, but there is the woman in the bus that we're going to go rescue uh, that will help replenish any lost NSA trust. Now up here, like I said, you're just going to want to blow through this as quickly as you can. Where are you now? The streets are a little crowded here. I'm not gonna be able to do you any good if I'm dead. All right, like I said, just blow through this as quick as you can. Do a roll here, otherwise the guy up there might see you. If not, if he does, just reload the checkpoint. Now here's the woman in the bus I was talking about. This will replenish any lost NSA trust. Go, find shelter. Now I know what you guys are thinking. It's probably really shitty of me to just let them die. Sam wouldn't let that happen. That's not canon. It's an option, like I said, especially if you don't lose any NSA trust. I think that it's not necessarily a canonized option. If you guys know how to do that part without getting caught, please let me know. And then I'll probably go back and uh, re-justify this video a little bit. So all we're going to do, we're going to wait for these guys to be done inspecting the truck. And then we're going to get underneath that truck and infiltrate the camp. Now, back when I played this all those years ago, I didn't know that you could do this. I actually went the minefield route. So this is actually a lot easier. And I highly encourage you guys to do this. So we're just going to get under here. And be all nice and stealthy and silky smooth, ladies and gentlemen. And plus, it's, it's kind of freaking cool. Look at him. Oh, Sam. What a badass. Alright, now I'll explain what we're going to do as soon as we get to the camp. There's going to be a checkpoint ahead, so that's a very, very good spot for us to save and everything. 
you're going to want to do everything that I'm about to do in this timely fashion. Otherwise, guard placement will be screwed up, and it's just a, it's a nightmare to try to get around this. Alright, here's our checkpoint. Alright, so we're going to get immediately out of the truck on this side, the right side. And then we're going to go. Start running and come over here and everything. Try to get this guy's attention as best as you can. Don't whistle or anything quite yet because if you get over here in time and you do exactly as I did just here, you should be able to get this guy distracted because then he's going to go out and inspect his troopers. And then that's going to give us plenty of opportunity to sneak over here and get the plans for the NSA that is our another objective that we can do. Boom. Alright, and we're gonna just quickly get out of this tent. Silky smooth snot rag. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work out for you guys like that, just reload the checkpoint. You should be able to get it. Who's slow here? Now, if you timed it just right, then you'll be free to go over to these generators cut the cable, and then hop over the fence. If not, there will be a guard here if you did not time this correctly. And once we cut this cable, we should be able to just hop over the fence and climb up the tower. Smooth. I'm here. Nice. Get up the tower. You find all the equipment you need at the top. I'm at the top of the tower. Good. Your rifle is equipped with a laser mic. Find Hisham in the palace, but don't shoot him yet. Until we know what he's doing, we won't know how many people you have to kill. Alright. Incredibly important. Thanks for Just you. a moment. Yes. Will you put down the phone? I need to get to the American Embassy. Yes. I've got enough. Blow his head off. Sam, this is Lambert. Sir, Don't if you'll come this way. This, this is crazy. To your embassy. What? Don't worry. You're the only one who can hear me. Fisher, what are you waiting for? You can say it's yourself. about. You're risking what are you? giving away my position. I don't care. Shoot him. Good work, Sam. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, head to the presidential palace. Isham needs your help. Meet me at the pier after you break him out. Now remember what I said. We're doing the cannon route. So it is cannon that Sam saves Hisham. And this next section that we got coming up here is a doozy. this entire section go exactly where I go move how I move this is the best way to do this without being seen and without taking a lot of damage now up ahead is gonna be a very very tricky and it will be different based on people's play sessions but it happened every single time up here we're gonna exit that helicopter to the right Friend of a friend, I owe you guys big time. CIA is telling me the rebels rigged the palace with C4. Can you confirm? 
I can confirm. They're gonna blow it up as a victory celebration. That's just what I hoped. Fisher, get Hisham away from the palace grounds. We'll get a team cracking the frequency of those detonators. Your friends in the JBA should be suitably impressed. Now the reason why I threw that smoke grenade is because there was a guard by those sandbags that I was at just a second ago. He's always there. That smoke grenade will distract him. Once you're in this bush here, this guard in front of us will not see you. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to equip your SC-20K smoke grenade launchers. And then as soon as he's done threatening and being mean to Hisham, we're going to launch our smoke grenades from our SC-20K in the exact order that I'm about to show you. And this should work. It's, it's taken me a lot of tries to do this without knocking people out and without getting caught. Okay, so fire that first one there and fire these last two here. And as soon as they thaw, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rescue Hisham. This should give you plenty of time, cover, and concealment. Now also, that smoke bomb that we threw earlier should throw off that other guard's patrol pattern, so we won't have to worry about them. Fisher, thank God. That was you with the sniper rifle, wasn't it? That's twice you've saved me. I owe you one, remember? Grab on. We're getting out of here. And Let's we got go. those guys approaching us. All right, we're in the clear. We did it. Silky smooth, snot rag. There's a CIA safe house just ahead. Throw me over the fence, and I can take it from there. Up you get. Before we go in there, I just want to say thanks again. Not necessary. Yeah. Well, good luck, Fisher. Sam, we've got the frequency of those C4 detonators. Get the hell away from the palace, now! Emil. Fisher, where the hell have you been? Dealing with your problem. You've killed Hisham? Not yet. Then what the hell are you... Now, I... A man after my own heart. One piece of advice. Never disobey my orders again. Come on back, Fisher. We got things to finalize in HQ. Sam, Hisham made it through. Now that he's safe, you need to go back to the HQ and stop the bombs. Gotcha. The two bombs need to be disabled. Our best chance to do that is to defuse them on site. I'll contact you once you're back there. Alright. So that was it. We just completed Kinshasa on hard difficulty. Let's see how we did. So yeah, prevent the execution. We failed that because, like I said, I've tried everything to get those guys without getting caught, and I've had no success. Yeah, we, we got that in the last part, I think. Yes! Look at that. 100% stealth. All right. Well, that's how you do it, guys. 100% stealth, Kinshasa on hard difficulty. I hope you guys like, comment, and do subscribe, so that way we can keep this channel going. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, stay frosty.